Hey guys, Alexandria here and welcome to the channel. If you're a newbie, I just want to say welcome to you. And if you're one of my fabulous returners, welcome back to the second installment of this year's declutter. I will link, of course, the first installment um, in the cards for you guys so you can check that out just in case you missed it. But if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and declutter the second pile. All right, here we go. Alrighty, first things first. The um, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. This is getting decluttered from my collection. This came in a boxy charm, I believe. And it was never touched, never used. I was never very interested in this. So I'm going to get rid of it. <clears throat> Maybe if I can get it back in the box. Okay. Sassy Sienna's. This is a great palette from Dose of Colors. I have all of them in the collection and I did do a comparison video for you guys in case you are curious. So that's what this one looks like. This one creates really awesome looks for the summer and I will definitely be hanging on to that one. Um, this is the um, BYS Peach Palette. I mentioned the berries in the first one. I don't remember why I picked this up. I think I was just curious to play with it and try it. I feel like Zabrina mentioned it and recommended it. Um, so I'm going to hang on to this one for now because I don't think I've even touched it. Um, this is another one of those collector things. I have a thing about collecting Disney Princess palettes. This one is Elf and Elsa. This is also getting decluttered. This was in the um, limited edition BoxyCharm, which I regret ever purchasing. Um, but... This palette was in there, never used it, so. Um, <clears throat> this is the MAC Basic Palette, and um, my friend Jordan sent this to me, and I haven't figured out how to use this palette. So I need to like, I need her to like come visit me and teach me how to use this palette, because I feel like you can make some really beautiful books for me, but I haven't figured out how to use it. So I wanna at least give it a fair shake. Um, Urban Decay Naked Heat. This is um, this is a palette I really enjoy. It's a very um, specific set of looks, though. Um, I am gonna hang on to this though because I do. It's like the only naked palette I like. Um, this is the Milani Bold Obsessions. I did pick this up again with the intention to review, um, but that never happened. So if you guys are curious about my thoughts, um, I really like it. Uh, it's a nice palette. I kind of want the other one too, but. I obviously don't need any more palettes, so that's why we're doing this declutter, but I am going to hang on to this one. Um, okay, okay. <clears throat> the Cargo Around the World, uh, Cargo Cosmetics Around the World palette. This is a super awesome, basic, run-of-the-mill palette for a beginner. I would highly recommend this if you are a beginner. I don't, I do believe it's still available for sale. It may not be, though, but this is a great little palette, but I don't need it, so I am going to get rid of it. <clears throat> Okay, Too Faced. I kept this around, and I don't recall why. This is from the Holiday Collection. This is the... I don't even remember what this one is called. But it was from the Holiday Collection, and I feel like I remember liking it. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm going to put this... I'm going to put this in the keep pile for now. Actually, I'm going to put this in the maybe pile that I just started. <laughs> um, okay, this is the Dose of Colors Blushing Berries. I find this formula to be inconsistent in this one and more difficult to use. Um, it's just a lot harder to work with. So I think I am actually going to go ahead and get rid of that one. <clears throat> this is the Winky Lux... Um, coffee palette and the Winky Lux kitten palette is somewhere around here. Um, this is the Winky Lux coffee palette. It's very uh, reminiscent of the original Urban Decay Naked palette. I never gave you guys my full review on this. If you want to see it, let me know. Um, leave a note in the comments and I will definitely make that happen for you guys. Um, <clears throat> this collection was just super cute and it was about coffee so obvi. The ColourPop, no not ColourPop, come on now. I haven't been doing this that long. BH Cosmetics Supernova Palette. Um, I never reach for this because I don't reach for baked eyeshadows. 
So I think I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. I never really used it and it needs a new home. The Jouer Skinny Dip Palette. I like the idea of this palette. It is entire, entirely, I'm sure the camera's like freaking out, but it's entirely shimmery shades. I like it, but I just, I never reach for an all shimmer eyeshadow palette. I just don't do it. So I'm sorry. Goodbye, Jouer. Um, okay, speaking of, why did I buy this? Somebody please tell me why I bought this palette. There's no real way to like show you this. Okay, so we'll do it this way. Somebody please tell me why I bought this palette. Actually, I know why I bought this palette. I heard, I want to say like Liv from Liv Loves Her Makeup was saying how much she really, really liked this palette. This is an entirely shimmer palette. And it's beautiful, but it's, I literally leave it sitting like right by my stuff and I never reach for it. It's so beautiful and I open it and I look at it and I go, well, that's really pretty. I should use that. And then I don't. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Urban Decay, it's got to go. All right. <clears throat> Beauty Creations Elsa palette. I do have a full review on this one and its sister palette right here. Um, the Olivia. This is the Elsa palette. This is a good palette, as I mentioned in that video. It is a good palette, but the blues and the purples are just not particularly impressive. You know, the colors you would expect to be really impressive just really aren't but I do really enjoy this palette I think it is a good one um, so I am gonna hang on to this one I'm also gonna hang on to the Olivia which I will also show you guys so I'm not really doing swatches but I feel pretty good about the pile I have a mask behind me so um, that's this one I do prefer the Olivia to the Elsa um, I feel like the color payoff although I do feel like there's some overlap I feel like there are two or three shades in here like this one this one and this one I feel like they're like exactly the same shade and then there's a couple of more that I'm like those shades look exactly the same um, but I'm gonna hang on to this one for now as well <clears throat> all right this probably doesn't really belong in this video because it's one of those super tiny palettes um, but this is from Marc Jacobs. This I bought at TJ Maxx or something. And it's really pretty, but I'm not going to reach for this. I'm not going to wear these colors. So that's got to go. I didn't pay full price. Um, the Elf, what is this? The Elf Mad for Matte. Again, this is a really nice palette, but I don't reach for it and I know it could get a better home. Ah, the Lorac Mega Pro 4. This was probably the worst decision ever. I hate this palette. I really do. And I watched Emily Noel's video and she had the most beautiful looks in it. And then I try to create looks and it just looks like crap. So goodbye, Laura Mega Pro 4. All right. <clears throat> Metal Glam from Crown uh, Pro. This just isn't that good a quality palette. Um, I don't really enjoy it that much. It's fine. Um, but I'm not, it doesn't bring me joy, so it's got to go. Um, anybody know where that's from? Um, okay, this is the Carly Bible, the Deluxe Edition, and I do want to hang on to this one. This one is, it's a really great palette, I forget about it, but like when I want a mauve tone look, this row right here is where it is at. So, um, <clears throat> that is in Zikip Pile. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about the, I'm feeling pretty good about this. How do you guys feel? Okay, Queen of Hearts uh, Colored Rain Palette. This is also another palette that is really beautiful, people love, that doesn't get enough love from me. So we'll be hanging on to that one. Okay, these Pacifica palettes, there are three. I know I have at least three. Okay. These these are pretty. Okay. I like this one. This one is the Pink Nudes. This one is really pretty. Um, this one is the Metallics. And then this one is Beachy Punk. It was very sweet of them. They were nice enough to send these to me. I would say that these are better for people who are new to makeup or who prefer a more natural eyeshadow look because these just don't quite pack the punch that I like my eyeshadows to pack. 
and again that's kind of personal preference they're not bad palettes um they're a little on the pricey side i think for the packaging and things like that but that may be because of the type of materials that they use to create these i'm not really sure um but for whatever it is they they have to go so they're leaving my collection they're finding a new home um boxy charm pure palette um i never reached for this i got it in my boxy charm obviously and i tried it like once or twice but everybody all the reviews i've heard about it say it's just okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and let it go let it go let it go okay two phase natural mattes this is obviously the old packaging um i heard they changed it in the new packaging and that makes me mad because this is probably one of my favorite nude palettes of ever and the original one so if you see it at tj maxx or marshall's or whatever and you don't already own it i would highly recommend it for the price um this is an absolutely great one i love to take this traveling with me um this is pretty this is the probably one of the only um all shimmer palettes that i will keep this is the blink boxy charm electric eyes this is really beautiful this is just so stunning and i just they pack the most beautiful punch and i just i don't know i really like this palette um can you guys see that that's crazy um when i re remember to reach for it so um, i am going to keep that one as well i'm trying to decide if the lighting is good enough it's hard for me to tell i turned it down from the first video um okay and then this one again is a collector for health <clears throat> all right these two also staying the baked browns from dose of colors as well as the marvelous mauves from dose of colors these are also palettes i really enjoy um okay this one from stila this is one i declutter and undeclutter i look at it and it looks really pretty but i never reach for it so i'm finally going to let this one go as well this one is in spirit um, this is the Vizier Theory palette. I'm actually not sure if I... Okay, this one is in Absinthe. Um, this is the green one. Did a full review in case you guys are curious about it. Um, really love this palette. It's really cool. Um, this is from Cherry Glow Cosmetics. I'm very confused by this palette because I feel like it's a, it must be like mass produced or something. I don't want to get this wrong, but like... I'm very confused by this because I feel like I see it in different places at different prices. It's very confusing. Um, so it is matte and glitters, and the mattes are awesome. But the glitters, I feel like I have to work too hard with the glitters to get them to work. And quite frankly, I'm just too lazy. So I'm just not going to do the work. <clears throat> this is from Marc Jacobs. This I also picked up at TJ Maxx or something. This is in the tees. This obviously has been discontinued. But this is such a beautiful selection. I do want to use this and play with it more. Um, this one always seems to make it through my the, the I can't talk my declutter. This is the Vice. I want to say this is the Vice Two. Um, I just love this palette. I used to love playing with this so much. So I'm still gonna hang on to that one. All right. This is the Melissa Michelle palette. Um, but times Ulta this has cheap products as well in it. It is pretty. It's just It's kind of basic um, But I do love this blush um, I don't know my friend Jody gave this to me um, I'm gonna hang on to it for now Okay um, Subculture oh subculture subculture um I am going to hang on to the subculture palette because when I'm willing to do the work, I really like the looks that I create. Um, this is also a really cool one. This is Unzipped, Unzipped Desert Sunset palette. This is a really cool palette. I like this one a lot. Um, it has some nice shades in it and it's just fun to create the combinations that they've got going on with this palette. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Alright, this is the Morphe... 25a and i also have the 25b um because i bought them in a set i'm actually going to pull 25b out of part three real quick okay so here's 25a and here's 25 this 25b this one is 25a and i think 
don't need both. I think I'm going to keep 25A and get rid of 25B. Even though technically that's not part of this video, but I don't need both. They are really nice though. Actually, no, I want both. So we're, we're going to put this back. Okay, so 25A keeping, also stealing from Robin Peter to PayPal. Okay, and then the Viseart Theory, this one is Amethyst. This may be my favorite purple palette of all times. If you want pretty purples, this palette right here is earthing. Even the colors that don't look like they would be purple, like these two, somehow have this undertone of purple. Just absolutely beautiful. Okay, okay. And then this one I am going to get rid of. This is the um, NYX California palette. I got this at um, Gen Beauty in January of last year. And uh, last year, right? I believe so. Um, so I'll get to call that one as well. All right, my friends. So that's going to do it for part two. Part two. Um, so we are heading into part three. So don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss it. I will, like I said, I will link part one as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.